hello everyone welcome back to the channel and um, this is a 2013 Ford Escape with um, some electrical issues and EBAP system um, problems look at this we have two coats all right we have this one the okay let me focus right there yeah. Right there. PO 18C and P2196. Fuel pressure sensor B, circuit low, and the oxygen sensor, uh, sensor signal, stack bridge, band one, sensor one. Okay. So, what happened with this kind of code, guys? Look at this um the first one okay this is the issue okay you need to replace that sensor what is the location for that sensor right there okay this is the fuel pressure on the um, that one uh received the signal like the uh, low pressure okay this is the line low pressure and you need to replace that one how can you know if this sensor is working properly or not so you need to go to the live data on your scan tool uh, right here let me see no okay just let me turn it on the um, the switch okay hold on guys we're going to to turn it on right here okay okay right there okay look at this we're going to PCM live data Okay, now charge the values. And be good communication. Okay, right here you just put uh, low. This one, low side fuel pressure. If you have this kind of measure with the motor on you need to replace your sensor okay because with the motor um, turn it on you need uh, to measure right here like uh, 94 84 okay like like the low side fuel pressure design okay but when you have um, connect your sensor and you measure that signal you need to replace the that sensor all right so this is the part number right there okay okay so this is for for just the the first code that we have and now we have the second code for the signal to the oxygen sensor okay bond for now the oxygen sensor is working properly but the computer detects a lot of um, oxygen on the system okay so we have a vacuum leak now why because the this valve right here this one okay is the um, push valve to the EVAP system okay it's just it's not um, the solenoid because the solenoid is this one okay the solenoid is this one and the location for this bulb is on the uh, porch canisters okay but for now this is the um, the issue on this car because we put the 12 volts on ground is working properly like um, uh, without uh, electrical issues all right bond has a, a vacuum leak 
how can you detect the backing leak with this machine this is a smoke pro diagnostic leak detector okay so look at this guys we're going to put the hose to the smoke detector right here is the line from the canister okay right there and now it's going to turn it on okay let me see okay just let me put some air right there and turn it on and look at this we have a lot of smoke right here okay so this is the bad symptom that we have a, a vacuum leak okay why because look at this we have the 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 new one it's a used part okay but look we have a lot of a lot of right here too okay so we want to change the hose to the to the new hoses with the new um, solenoid bulb right here okay and now look we're going to turn it on and no smoke okay this is the new hoses and no smoke and if i if i turn it on with the power pro now it's a smoke okay with the other line too okay so this is the the correct uh way that you can see if the valve is working or not okay for now we have this kind of leak uh so on the electrical uh, actuator is good it's, it's working it's, it's, it's um working properly but has the the backing link okay and with these hoses we don't have the backing link just when uh when we um activate the the solenoid okay look at this okay so for now we're going to replace that hoses and that's it guys it's not a issue for the oxygen sensor just you need to to check your backing legs and solenoid if everything is working properly you need to to find another issue all right so thank you so much for watching this video guys um don't forget like and subscribe bye bye